What is whooping cough? Whooping cough, also called pertussis, is a serious respiratory infection caused by a type of bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. The infection causes violent, uncontrollable coughing that can make it difficult to breathe. While whooping cough can affect people at any age, it can be deadly for infants and young children. Before a vaccine was available, whooping cough caused approximately 9,000 deaths per year in the United States, according to Kids Health. Whooping cough is now responsible for fewer than 30 deaths each year in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC). Whooping cough is now responsible for fewer than 30 deaths each year in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC). The CDC says the total number of cases of pertussis in 2014 was just at 33,000. Whooping cough symptoms The incubation period Time between initial infection and the onset of symptoms A whooping cough is about 5 to 10 days, but symptoms might not appear for as long as 3 weeks, according to the CDC. Early symptoms mimic the common cold and include a runny nose, cough, and fever. Within two weeks, a dry and persistent cough develops that makes breathing very difficult. Infants and children often make a whoop sound when they try to take a breath after coughing spells. This type of severe cough can also cause vomiting, blue or purple skin around the mouth, dehydration, low-grade fever, breathing difficulties, Adults and teenagers typically experience milder symptoms, such as a prolonged cough without the whoop sound. Diagnosing and treating whooping cough. If you or your child experience symptoms of whooping cough, seek medical attention right away, especially if members of your family have not been immunized. Whooping cough is highly contagious. Bacteria can become airborne when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or laughs, and can quickly spread to others. Diagnosis To diagnose whooping cough, your doctor will perform a physical exam and take samples of mucus in the nose and throat. These samples will then be tested for the presence of the B. Pertussis bacteria A blood test may also be necessary to make an accurate diagnosis. Treatment Many infants and some young children will need to be hospitalized during treatment, for observation and respiratory support. Some may require intravenous IV fluids for dehydration if symptoms prevent them from drinking enough fluids. Since whooping cough is a bacterial infection, antibiotics are the primary course of treatment. Antibiotics are most effective in the early stages of whooping cough, however, they can also be used in the late stages of the infection to prevent it from spreading to others. While antibiotics can help treat the infection, they do not prevent to treat the cough itself. Cough medicines are not recommended, they have no effect on whooping cough symptoms and may carry harmful side effects for infants and small children. Most doctors suggest using humidifiers in your child's bedroom to keep air moist and help alleviate symptoms of whooping cough.